basically the, my plan is to today only to do a warm up so to learn and reconstruct the alphabet here you can see that the alphabet uh, is very ancient from uh, basically early 5th century. And from what I remember, it, uh, is, it was developed by Mesrop Mashtots, who um, yeah, invented it, and it's still in use. Um, so that is... I don't know if uh, modern Armenian has exactly the same alphabet. I think it might have even more letters. I'm told that it has 39 letters. But I don't know what these letters mean, and uh, I'm going to be figuring out, uh, trying to reconstruct uh, how they sound without even using audio. I'm just going to try to uh, reconstruct it from the names of uh, people in the genealogy. So here we go. This is the Armenian, Matthew chapter 1, and here is the English. And we can use the fact that names should roughly stay similar. Um, so for example, I'm figuring out that uh, we have Abraham here and Abraham here. So something that is common for both uh, the, of these two verses, that should probably stand for Abraham. And we indeed have this and this look similar, right? Okay, there is a slight. Uh, there is clearly a different ending. Some, some, something here is a, a letter that looks a bit like G. I don't know what the letter is, but I that I'm going to guess that this thing that looks a bit like a U that this must be a. Then hmm, we have okay this thing. I'm just going to guess that this is B. Okay, let's count. A B R A H A M. Hmm. A B R A Ah, mm. okay. This makes sense that this is ah and this is ah. Avraham. Hmm. Yeah, the only letter that repeats in in Abraham here, at least lowercase. I don't know. Would that be maybe that could be then like an uppercase ah? Okay. Anyway, this this thing, I'm going to go with uh, that. This is a letter A. Then maybe between them, this letter H. Oh, that's convenient. Okay. All right. I'm going to guess that this is some kind of a grammatical ending. And uh, this, uh, these two letters are also something about grammatical endings. So we'll have to wait until we uh, get uh, these letters figured out. But um, yeah, I'm going to guess that this is M then. So half of these letters look like a U, some, some sort. But this is M. So that should be a letter R. So that is letter R. All right, so that's that's what we could f can figure out from uh, the name Abraham. So he was the father of Isaac. Something, something. What he he begat or something? Would that be Isaac? Maybe. He saw. Okay, that would be a, ha, aha, k. Maybe that's k. I, Isaac. Okay, let's uh, let's let's suppose that if we have this thing is probably something like a letter I. Uh, a normal letter U, a letter like this, is probably a letter S. Then then we have Isahak. Okay, I'm going to guess that this is K. A bit like a number four. And that is probably a letter K. Jacob. Now, Jacob could be pronounced in many different ways. Yaakov? Yaakov? Let's see, okay. This seems to be consistent with this being B. So this letter it looks a bit like a like a Z. It's a different different uh, different than Isaac, right? Let's try to draw this. All right. So we have something uh, like that, and that should be something about the letter J. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's a letter A. Yeah. K. O. That that must be O sound probably. O. O. I don't know if it's if it's a diphthong or not, but I'm just going to write it down as Cob. Okay. So I, I still don't know whether that's B or V, actually. So B or V, because in many languages, or well, especially in Hebrew, uh, yeah, that's V or B. Also in Greek, um, in first century AD, uh, Greek, uh, from what I understand, the letter B, beta, became, just started becoming a uh, fricative, a V sound. All right, so we have now Jacob. Again, it finishes with that, uh, with that mysterious letter that it finishes here. Could that indicate maybe something probably something grammatical, something that it was he is the uh, subject of the sentence? Ooh, there we go. So we have like an inconsistency. Judah and Jacob, the O and the U are the same the same letter here, right? Yeah, this is the same letter. All right, so that could be also a U. Okay, we'll have to basically go through more of the names and see whether there is preference. How is uh, these two letters a letter D? Ooh, that's confusing. 
Um, I'm going to ignore that then because I know I, I uh, it's it's confusing. No, I, I cannot see how how letter D one letter one sound D. Yeah, I'll figure it later. Is that a letter that we have seen? No, but it's a one one letter word. That means maybe it's an and. You know, some kind of a. Ooh, ooh, ooh this is fancy. Could it, could it be by any chance Perez and Zera? Hmm. Uh, r okay, so this is a sound or a a r. I, I recognize the. R here. This looks like a, a Greek letter phi. Maybe it is borrowed from uh, from. P. So that that could be connected to Perez. Perez. That would have to be then. What is that letter? That just uh, we had that letter. Right? Oh yeah, S. All right. I think that's that's consistent with this being S, S or Z. I'll just have to attach ambiguity here. But I think it's fair to say that it's Isaac. Also, yeah, Isaac. It could be it could be Z or S. A sound whether it's voiced or unvoiced yeah okay so i'm going to guess that uh, the letter the big letter phi is a letter is a letter p or f maybe you know what maybe it is ferez who knows it looks a bit too similar to the greek letter um not to not to include the possibility that it is borrowed to signify the letter f what is this we don't know but this appeared in that one of the possibilities for letter d this word is zera so, ooh, how do you draw this thing? <laughs> okay, that's a letter Z. Here we, in English, we use E and A. Uh, they use the same thing. So it might be some some kind of a sound between uh, A and A, maybe. That's my guess. Could that be Tamar? No, I don't know. No idea. Hezron. Maybe that's the Hezron. Hezron, the father of Ram. Aram. Okay, ooh, okay. It's possible that this is a word Aram. Ram or Aram. This is a word as in Abraham, right? So... So that's, I think they're guessing that this is something like an Aram, rather than just a Ram here. Mm, but that would mean that we have Hezron somewhere here. Now this is H, E, Z, R, no, okay, this is R. So, so Hez needs to be, needs to fit into these, these two. I'm going to guess that this is a Z and that this is some kind of a sound that is similar to He, which is, I don't know, Yezron, I don't know, whatever. Um... So, uh, yeah, let's write that down. Would that make sense then? Oh yeah, then Perez. Okay, so we have so with Perez we had uh, this for that's for now translated more leaning towards A, and this is leaning more towards E. So that would be consistent. So this letter. Okay, I think this might be an important letter. It looks a bit like a ligature of T and U. This is a funky letter, E. All right. So that's consistent with. Yes, okay, so that letter that looks a bit like a Q is actually, uh, it's Z, probably. Or Z, who knows, it could be Hetzron. The letter Z, but I'm going to, you know, plus potentially it's a Z sound, or, you know. So I wonder if this big letter is the same letter as this one. Is this, are these, uh, is this, are these the same letter, just slightly differently written? Uh, the big one just looks differently. My goodness, these letters look so similar. This is just a, a mirror image of this one, right? These are just mirror images. All right, all right, all right. Aminadab. Okay, that's what we are looking at. Aminadab. A m. Oh, so that's e, or e, or I don't know something, something like that. Ami. So that's a letter n. N a d a b. Okay, that's consistent. Uh, at least the number of letters matches. So that's letter B that we already know. That's A. Um, okay, so that is a letter M. That's consistent. Um, me. Okay, so this is E. Um, me, N. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So M and N are mirror images, which doesn't help. Doesn't help learning this. But um, it helps recognizing, it just doesn't help learning. Which, it's a very similar concept as in Georgian alphabet. Actually, it reminds me of the Georgian alphabet. I can go into Georgian, that's allowed, that's not Armenian. Georgian alphabet. Um, right, the letters M and N are also mirror images. Well, basically mirror images. <laughs> uh, M is uh, like a letter 6. Well, N is like a letter 6. M is like an inverted 6. It just differ by a small wiggle. Yeah. Hmm, all right, interesting. So Armenians have a similar uh, concept. Um, I've heard somewhere some hypothesis that, of course, Georgian, Georgians deny, but some hypothesis that the same guy who invented Armenian alphabet also invented the Georgian alphabet. So maybe that's... Uh, maybe there is something to it. That's, that would be interesting. Uh, that's an interesting 
uh, sentence. Completely only two names appear here, and apparently that's a sentence. So maybe it's something like it's from Aminadab someone. Yeah, some kind of a that this is some kind of a case that indicates that uh, one comes from the other person. Salmon, then sal m o n. Yeah, and that's that's the uh, wild card. Uh, okay, so that's a letter S. My goodness, why do you have a letter A look very similar to the letter S? Um, so that's a capital S. Oh, which makes sense. So it's it's like here, unless it's Z or a Sh. Um, yeah, but seems like seems like these these two are the same. I'm becoming more and more convinced that this is uh, definitely a letter O rather than U. I think that's 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 uh, becomes more and more uh, certain. Who was the father? Obed. Oh, okay, bed. Right. This is this should be a letter D then. I think that's not a stretch, right? All right, that's a letter D. And David was the S Solomon. D, A. Was that a letter V? We, did we figure it out already? Ah, well, I think it rules out the V and and uh, the option V for the the uh, ambiguity between B and V. That would be a letter V. So. I think this is not V, then be because David is not David, never. So that's certainly there is a letter for V. Um, okay, so this if that was a D as an Obed, I think this is now is consistent with this being a D, which is somewhat similar. All right, so that's another way of writing letter D. What? Why do you need two letters for D? That's something to do with Uriah, right? O. But again, two letters here. How is that? Where did we have problems? We had some ambiguity about this thing, Judah, right? In verse 2, we had Yehuda. Maybe that's some kind of Yehuda? Yehuda? Is that letter U, maybe? U, that's a letter D. That's consistent, okay. Could that be U? I think that could be U, right? Because we have Uriah, but what is this thing? We still don't know what that thing is. And that, again, appears here, so for Uriah and for, for Obed. All right, I don't know, but that seems to me like it's you. So I'm just going to write it down as you. Maybe Uriah's wife, probably something. Who knows? Maybe that's wife. That has a funky letter. Wow. Look at that letter. And I don't see it anywhere else. Hmm. Well, pity that it's not in a name. <laughs> I won't be able to figure out this letter uh, just yet. That's Solomon, that does not give us any new letters, except it still reinforces that's probably S. That's probably S rather than Z, unless they call everyone Solomon and Jezzy, that's probably S. This could be something, again, similar to a letter phi, just not finished. Greek letter phi. This could be the same letter as in as this one, just this is capital, for Pires or Feres. That could be Asaph, maybe. Maybe it's just pronounced Asaph. Asaph. Asaf. Uzziah. Yoram. Uz. Okay. Okay. So that Q letter. That's Z. Yes. We had. We had it as Z. Uz. Uzi. That's E. Sound E. I. Uzia. Okay. I'm going to guess that this is U. Then this must be U. U. Well, capital U. Capital letter U. In which case, I still don't know what that small bit here is. That kind of this tiny letter. I had those hypotheses that it was uh, something to do with you, but uh, no. Jotham, Yotam, Yo. Wait, so this was this appeared in the letter together with David, right? Right at the end of David. Okay, that um. T. Okay, so this is maybe David. Maybe that's a letter T then. We already have one letter T. Maybe that's a that's a. Maybe Z T. I don't know. But that's 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 for letter now for also for letter for Jotham. Your thumb. Your thumb. I know. Well T H or T. To be honest, this all looks to me like <laughs> uh, that that letter, I've not seen that letter before. Manasa. Oh okay, so that's a capital letter M. Jehonian, okay. Je Jehoniah, right? Jehoniah. Okay, look at that. So we have Jehoniah. But this is H. I'm guessing that this letter is then some kind of a very hard H sound. 
yeah, some kind of a back throat h. Yeah, not a simple h sound, more like a k or h or h. Who knows? Yeah, that is a letter L, another variant of a letter L, another letter for L. Yeah, uh, salat, salatiel. Okay, so this is a letter L and this is a letter L. Salatiel. Yes, I remember in Polish in some translations uh, they use uh, salatiel. So that makes sense. Shalatiel. What is this letter? Why does this letter never come up anywhere else? Not in a name. Okay, I suppose we have to be patient. Abio. Okay, so that's the. Okay, that's a thing. That's a ligature. Some kind of. These two letters turn an O into an U. Alright? Let me just search for it. Alright, in Judah. We had Judah. Yuda. Yeah. Yuda. <clears throat> Somehow. What was it? And here. Okay. That was David and Uriah. Right. Again. That was U Uriah. Yeah. That turns into the letter U. Okay. Maybe it's O. U. Yeah. Maybe that is U then. That's some kind of an Upsilon. Um, that, okay. So it's that, that small thing. That small thing. So the long, long thing is L. But the small thing is U. Maybe... Yeah, okay, that, 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 that fits with that one. Right, 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 right. Okay. Now that makes sense. Makes sense. Azor Zadok, or Zadok, or Sadok. Let's see, 14. Azor Fathered. Yes, okay, again, Sa. Or Tsa, maybe? You know, who knows? How is it in Greek? I wonder now. What if I turn this into... Give me all languages and give me Greek. Oh, Koine, yes, 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 yes. Cool, 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 cool. Um, no Nestle Netherland. I'll take Tyndale House, Greek. Okay, so we have we have Greek, Aviud, uh, the Evanescent Eliakim, Eliakim, Azor, Azor, uh, Sadok. Okay, so it's definitely more like a S, Sigma. It's a Sigma, not Zeta. Sadok, Sadok, Evanescent Ton Achim. Yeah, so I'm thinking that this U, Aviud, it's uh, this this conjunction of these two. It's something like in Greek, when you have O and Upsilon, Omicron and Upsilon, uh, you have, uh, it's just an U sound. Uh, so that that Upsilon just turns in the whole thing into an U, even though on its own it's an O, right? So that's some kind of an equivalent of an Omicron and that's some kind of an equivalent of, a, of an Upsilon. Um, right, that would make sense, I guess. Eleazar Mathan. Okay. Ma ta oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is that? These are two letters. These are two letter T. Letters T. Both of them are T. One is here, T, and one is uh, like with David. Unless it's D, I don't know, but that was it seems more and more convincing that this is that they're both T. Um Matan. Oh yeah, okay, it makes sense. So so where in Greek it's tau, it's this thing, and theta is for this thing. How was David, by the way? Uh in here. David. The David. David. Okay. Um alright, so delta and theta. Oh, so these could be fricatives, but because in Greek both delta and theta are fricatives. Th, delta, delta, not delta. So tau, mathi, mathan. Okay, 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 okay. So that would be a th. Yes, I think, I think th or some kind of dh aspirated, so fricative. Th. Um, all right. The, the Greek gave us a bit of uh, instruction. Husband of Mary. So this genealogy is the genealogy of Joseph, who was in some sense an adopted parent of Jesus. Um, all right, so this is the genealogy of Joseph, husband of Mary. All right, so from this genealogy, we've managed to figure out quite a few. Let's see. Okay, let's type them up in a computer program and see if we can, uh, if we can, let's see if we can um, start writing, creating a program that starts transliterating. Uh, string replace. Okay, we'll be looking at the string, but here are the set of rules. So. All right, so I've constructed this set of rules of transliteration. Let's just see if I type in, I just copy paste this thing into here and see what comes out. Okay. Abraham, 
Yeah, we still don't know what that letter is. And that. There. Um, Isahak. I think this is not J, this is H. No one pronounces Isayak or Isaac. It's Hak. I think it's a H. Isai. Hak. Hakov? But then Jacob. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm quite happy with how much we have, but we still should continue, I think. Go to a different genealogy in Luke chapter 3. 3. There is a... We have lots of... We have also Pontius Pilate, Caesar, all of these names, and the genealogy of these people. So this is a genealogy of Mary, not of Joseph. So, so that will be a... Yeah, a slightly different genealogy. And that will give us more data. Let's load Luke 3. Okay, I see a letter that I've not seen before. Where else can I find maybe some names? Ooh. We could find them in Genesis, I suppose. Or in Chronicles. Ooh, Chronicles has lots of names. Chronicles will have lots of names. It's just figuring out which one of this is Chronicles. Genesis, Exodus... Four, five, six, seven. Uh, that could be first, second. These are Samuel kings, so these are all four uh, kings, I think. From what I understand, so one and two chronicles. First chronicles. First chronicles. Let's just go with uh, with chapter one. Chronicles chapter one. Okay. All right. The son of Japheth. That's from the first. The first ones have already been there, and Luke. But Japheth's sons and Ham's sons, descendants, okay. Shem's descendants. I think all of them. Let's let's just type in all of them. Till twenty-eight. Uh, okay, you know what? I think this looks good. Apart from the fact that the some letters are still missing. I think these just are at the end of the words, mostly. This is... These are something that you just can't figure out, you know, something's missing. But I think, well, 99% I've managed to reconstruct pretty much almost all of it. Alright, I still don't know what this is, I don't know what this is. Cha... Yeah, no. I don't know what this is. These are just native Armenian letters which don't appear in transliterations. All right, but look at this. Most of these names are pretty much well transliterated. And that was done without any reference to any dictionaries or Wikipedia, or even without listening to how things should be pronounced. All right, I think that should be it for today. 52, so divided by two, because there are capital R and not 26 letters, okay. So there are still uh, 13 letters that I've not figured out, um, but they are they appear sufficiently rarely, apart from this thing which constantly appears and I've no idea how it's pronounced. Um, but yeah, it seems like it seems like I I have a lot of it covered. Tomorrow I'm going to listen to audiobooks and figure out the remaining uh, letters, how they should be. Uh, pronounced and maybe I'll change the transliterations then because I am quite sure that um, some of it should be pronounced as ye or uh, you maybe tune I don't know some kind of there will be more more subtle uh, pronunciation differences but this is a good start and yeah look at this this is a proper like I can you know most of it is properly transcribed so yeah I think that is uh, that is a success again I've not been using any resources only uh, yeah, the old school method of just deducing and figuring out what is what. Um, all right, well, I'll see you tomorrow.